Krishna so today we are going to hear about glories of Govardhan the king of all mountains therefore he is known as Giriraj Govardhan if you look at Giriraj today he, he doesn't look like a huge mountain but from deeper level of consciousness as the scriptures say that he is declared as the greatest mountain in the entire universe because he is a great associate of lord krishna as we know there are five mahaparshadas giriraj govardhan yamuna tulsi devi lord shiva and dust of rundavan are all called as mahaparshad who can bestow love of krishna so this giriraj the history of giriraj is that giriraj is a, a, an associate of lord krishna even in the spiritual world when krishna told shrimati radharani that i want to descend on this earthly planet you also come with me that time radharani says that i cannot come with you because i want to serve you where there is govardhan and where there is yamuna so krishna says i know your desire and therefore i have sent govardhan and yamuna already to the earthly planet they are just waiting for us radharani once wanted to have a place which can offer all the varieties in in their past times a place which can offer uh, different forest flowers fruits special places secluded places and uh, a cool atmosphere so hearing that desire krishna meditated in his heart and from his heart one seed came out and then that seed grew and grew and grew and grew till it became a mountain and that mountain is known as giriraj govardhan in bhoma past times uh, bhoma vrindavan past times when uh, when indra was very proud that he is providing rains to all the people of the earth and uh, to subdue this pride krishna actually told all the vrajavasis to worship govardhan hill rather than worship in indra and indra became enraged because of this and he started pouring showers of rains you know the the shower came out uh, you know it hit the ground like pillars of water like you know and all the vrajavasis were scared and they took shelter of krishna and krishna then called everybody he lifted this mountain govardhan he used that as umbrella and gave shelter to all vrajavasis and for 7 days 7 nights it was a festival for all vrajavasis so it shows that if you take shelter of krishna if you take shelter of giriraj then even the greatest calamities can become the greatest opportunities to loving exchanges with lord krishna Uh, Lord Krishna was continuously seven days, seven nights, uh, exchanging pastimes with Vrajavasis. So this is the glory of Govardhan. So Shrimati Radharani, in her own words, she glorifies Govardhan as Hanta Yam Adri Rabala Hari Das Avaryo Yad Ram Krishna Charanas Parshap Pramoda Manam Tanoti Sahago Ganayos Tayoryat Paniya Su Yavasa Kandra Kanda Mulaihi. In short, she says that. Oh dear friends she is telling the gopis uh, this govardhan hill is haridas varya haridas varya is best among servants of krishna hanta ya madhurya bala haridas varya why because he feels pleasure by obtaining dust from the lotus feet of lord balram and lord krishna not only that he gives whatever he has he just uses for serving lord balram lord krishna all the gopas all the gopis and all the cows he provides a cooling atmosphere in terms of caves he provides very fresh grass for the cows he provides cool waters from the breezes and uh, and also he provides roots and shoots and fruits for the pleasure of krishna and his associates so Giriraj is uh, of prime importance in life of devotees all the goswamis have prayed that nij nikat nivas dehi govardhanatvam they have they have prayed for eternal residence 
for to stay near Govardhan and to serve Radha Krishna in their divine eternal pastimes. And uh, on the day of Vyas Pavanima, we see that millions and millions of pilgrims, they do Parikrama of Govardhan Hill, uh, glorifying Govardhan, doing Parikrama. Parikrama means circumambulating Govardhan Hill, remembering the pastimes of Krishna and paying obeisances to Govardhan at every step. Hare Krishna.